Hey everybody, it's me again. Well, good to see you, 1301.99. Uh, hope everything's going well for you. Just wanted to touch base for a little bit. I realize some folks were away for a couple of weeks, so please get caught up. I'm glad to see a number of you have gotten your pieces in, so keep working at those. Uh, number one, the big things that are due in this next coming weeks are, uh, first off, get your good copies. If I've already had a chance to go over your rough drafts, get your good copies in of the M10 scholarship essays, final drafts of your scholarship essays. Okay? Realize that uh, when I shoot those back to you, make sure you save them on your hard drive because you can take those and tweak them to apply for any other scholarships in the future. And I'll be more than happy, by the way. I've had some students come to me uh, just recently saying, Mr. McNichol, would you be willing to uh, recommend me for a scholarship? Absolutely. There's nobody who is in the class right now that I wouldn't recommend for a scholarship because I think everybody's got uh, what it takes to get through college. So let me know, and I'll be more than happy to do that. And uh, if some of you, I think at least one person has their rough draft in, just got it in, great. I'll look at that as soon as I possibly can, and we'll work with that. Okay? Also, make sure that you get the M11 piece on quotes and italics, especially if you're going to be um, putting quotes around things like citations. We're going to be talking about those next week as well a bit. Um, but if you need more bites at the apple, if you need more tries in order to do well, if you need more tries just to pass, please let me know and I will reset the piece and uh, give you more tries at it. Okay? But I can't do it if you guys don't tell me what you need. All right? Um, also, now this is something I'm going to put in the announcements, something I'd like you to have done when we meet on Tuesday. There is a discussion on introduction and conclusion paragraphs, okay, what they are and how they work. I'm sure a number of you already know this, but I, you know, I've learned some folks, you know, you may have had an English teacher or a series of English teachers in high school who just failed you on that, and who did not get that into your head for whatever reason. I'm going to try and do that, make sure that you've got that, because in any essay, in pretty much anything you're going to write, the introduction and the conclusion are essential. Now, just a short version of what those are. Well, from my perspective, the introduction tells the reader in a very short amount of words what it is the whole paper is going to be about or your article is going to be about. Okay? The president is a liar and a cheat or the president is a living saint. Okay? That's an introduction. Okay? A conclusion ties up and basically reminds the reader what they've been reading about. Maybe the reader, if you just leave them on their own, they might have seen all these details, and they honestly frequently will forget what they've been reading about. So the conclusion is basically just a restating of the introduction, which is, you know, the president is a saint, or the president is a liar and a cheat, whatever it is. You're trying to say, you say it both at the introduction and at the conclusion, and in the, like two pieces of bread in a sandwich, and all those body paragraphs in between are the meat, the cheese, the vegetables, the hummus, whatever it is, you know, that floats your boat in the sandwich. Me, I had a really good Reuben sandwich today. My wife makes the best, but that's me in any case. So, once again, get the good copies in of your M10 scholarship essays. Please get the M11 quiz done of notes and italics and contribute, this is an easy five points, to the online discussion of uh, what about introductions and conclusion paragraphs. And then I'll see you guys all on Tuesday. Thanks so much, folks. Hope everybody's doing well. Hope you have a great weekend. Going to do my best to have mine. See you later. Bye-bye.